Geometry. When you said geometry, my dear viewers, the geometrical shapes, we have the square, rectangle, circle, oval, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, cube, sphere, cylinder, cone, rectangular prism, and pyramid. There are two types of shape. We have geometry and organic. Talking about geometry class, these are the shapes you recognized and know names for. They have exact measurements and are not frequently seen in nature. You may recognize these from math class as well. Whereas organic means these are also known as free form they are unpredictable and flowing in appearance many of these shapes are found in nature like the shape of a leaf or the outline of a tree geometric we have a rectangle geometric triangle we have three sides geometric we have an oval shape geometry and the other one is organic i think it's what you call the dolphin sh shapes like that organic which is a pear geometric which is a lump a lump shape rather a lump shape because we call it geometric class it's just because the shapes you have triangle we have the oval shape like that okay it has sides we have Geomate, okay, okay, we have the shapes. We have geometric versus what you call organic. Geometric shapes class can be defined as a figure or area close by a boundary which is created by combining the specific amount of curves, points, and lines. Different geometric shapes are triangle, circle, square, etc. All of us know about the common shapes in geometry like square, rectangle, circle, and triangle. A circle class is a plane figure bounded by one curved line and such that all straight lines drawn from a certain point within it to the bounding line are equal. The bounding line is called its circumference and the point is centric. A square is a regular quadrilateral which means that it has four equal sides and four equal angles. It can also be defined as a rectangle in which two adjacent sides have equal length. In Euclidean plane geometry, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. It can also be defined as an equi equiangular quadrilateral since equiangular means that all of its angles are equal. An oval is a curve resembling a squashed circle but unlike the ellipse without a precise mathematical definition. The word oval derived from the Latin words ovos for egg. Unlike ellipses, ovals sometimes have only a single axis of reflections symmetry. 
A triangle class is a polygon with three edges and three vertices. It is one of the basic shapes in geometry. A triangle with vertices is denoted. A three points with an collinear are unique triangle and simultaneously. Example with two dimensional equilibrium space. Pentagon is any five sided polygon or five gone. When you see it, pentagon five gone. The sum of the internal angles in a simple pentagon is 540 degree. A pentagon may be simple or self intersecting. A self intersecting regular pentagon is called a pentagram. In geometry class, hexagon from Greek hex, six, and gonia, that's a corner of an angle. Is a six-sided polygon or six gone. The total of the internal angles of any simple or non-self intersecting hexagon is 720 degree. Octagon. Octagon is eight angles. It is an eight-sided polygon or an eight gone. A regular octagon has clarify symbol and can also be constructed as a say regular truncated square which alternates two types of edges. A cube is a three-dimensional solid object bounded by six square faces, facets or sides with three meeting at each vertex. The cube means is the only regular hexahedron and one of the five planetonic solids. It has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Sphere, which is formed by the arcs of a great circle. The spherical polygons is a generalization of the spherical triangle. A cylinder is a three-dimensional closed figure with congruent parallel, usually circular. Bases connected by the set of all line segments between the two circular bases, forming a curved surface. The term cylinder is from the Greek meaning tumbler or roller. Definition of terms A cone is a three dimensional geometric shape that tapers smoothly from a flat base frequently, though not necessarily circular, to a point called the apex or vertex. In geometry class, a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional object that has the shape of a rectangular cardboard box. That is, it is made up of six rectangular sides. The top and bottom of rectangular sides are called the bases of the prism, and the other sides are called the lateral faces of the prism. A pyramid is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. Each base, each and apex form a triangle called a lateral face. It is a conic solid with a polygonal base. Once again, my dear viewers, thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you are new here to my channel, Rams Tutorial Educational. Thanks for watching guys. See you on my next video. Don't forget to hit the bell again and press the red button and subscribe so that you're updated on my latest video tutorial. Thanks for watching guys.